Hi, Ray Travson here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we made a dwarf hunter by the name of Trap and Trav. And we entered into the world of Azeroth. And when we entered in, we met uh, another dwarf by the name of Sten Stoutarm, who wanted to get us to collect some meat for him. And for that, he would trade us some gloves. And we did that. And then after we went around Coldridge Valley, did some more quests, we delivered some mail. We also slayed some trogs and some boars. And now we're going to have a little chat here with Felix Windlebolt, Hi, you're a, tall one. a refugee's quandary. We drove the trogs out of Nomoragan, but then it all went horribly wrong. Now our home is completely irradi irradiated, and we gnomes have been scattered all over Dunmoreau. In my haste to get away from the radiation, I lost all my personal belongings and tools. It was the trolls that got them. They stole my chest, my box, and my bucket of bolts. They took them back to their camp southwest of Anvilmar. I am not, I'm no adventurer. Could you find my things and bring them here to me, please? So we have to bring Felix's box, Felix's chest, and Felix's bucket of bolts to Felix Windelbolt in Anvilmar. And we'll be Off rewarded with 50 s copper. Which isn't bad. Right now we have uh, one silver, 83 copper. We sold a lot of stuff yesterday. We got a decent amount of gear. So let's go out into the cold and find uh, find his stuff. We're also going to fight some trolls today, I believe. There's a quest that I didn't do that I skipped. And I believe we have to go to this cave here and fight some trolls. So we're going to do that as well. I think it's on the way for this refugee's quandary. He told us to go southwest, which I believe is over here. Maybe some of his stuff is near the troll cave as well. So here we go. Here's Grelin Whitebeard. Let's have a little chat with him. What can I do? The troll cave. My brother Sanir and I were sent to different parts of Dunmoreau to investigate the threat posed by the trolls. The Senate has its hands full with the trogs. So they've no need for further annoyances. From what I've seen, the trolls aren't well situated here in Cold Ridge Valley, mostly the southern cave. I'd say that the army will not be necessary. A few strong arms should be more than enough. Perhaps you'd like to assist in this endeavor? I have the authority to offer compensation for your help. Looks like we'll get a new axe if we do this. So we have to slay 14 Frostmade Troll Whelps. See you soon. Shouldn't be too bad. And what is this? How are ya? We have to do a, a Mornbrew delivery. Take a scalding Mornbrew to Dornman fur color inside of Anvilmar before it gets cold in five minutes. Okay, so maybe we'll do that later, because Anvilmar is uh, up here. And it looks like we have to deliver uh, some some beer. See you soon. So we'll do that after we finish uh, this quest. Alright, so let's roll out. So we got a lot to do today. We got to get Felix's stuff. We got to slay some trolls. And then we got to deliver some beer. Sounds like a pretty, uh, pretty eventful full day here. We should get at least a couple, maybe two levels. At least one. Okay, so we're off. Let's see if we can find... So we got some trolls here. There's Felix's box. Already found it. Let's see how we uh, we do against these trolls. This is my first time killing a member. I don't even know if these guys are a member of the horde. There's so many different troll tribes and clans out there. Yeah, this, this is probably just a different troll clan. Or tribe, I should say. Yeah, they're the frost main trolls. I don't think they're a part of the horde at all. Let's get rid of this troll too. One thing that's going to be different from uh, the last Let's Play is I'm not going to be able to stealth buy stuff. I'm going to actually have to fight. Actually, no. I am going to be able to skip a lot of stuff. I'm a hunter. I forgot about that. I have faint death. But it's, until I get faint death, I'm going to have to, uh, to fight pretty much everything. But I'll be able to skip a lot of stuff. Because I'll be able to, like, pull a bunch of stuff and then just feign death. So let's pick up this, uh, this box here. See right there? Oh, sneaky troll. Didn't see him there. 
Very sneaky. Blended in the shadows there. It's kind of cool fighting uh, trolls. It's going to be interesting fighting orcs. The thing is, I did fight orcs and torrens and trolls as a horde member, too. So here we go. Let's open up this chest. See what happens. There we go. We got Felix's box. So that's one down. So I guess we'll let's see what's inside here. So I don't think there's much inside. But we'll take out this frost main troll just to make sure. Let's go in here and we'll see if we got anything. I'm kiting. You can run away and shoot. Yeah, not much in here. They only got like one sheet. Seems like they're having a tough time out here, these trolls. But there's a lot of them. So let's move on. I guess we'll start moving, uh, moving out more southwest. Keep looking. Let's go through all the troll camps. Here's another hut. I wonder how these trolls got here. Like, how did they get here? This is like the... Did they, like, sneak past all the dwarves? Like, or maybe they were, like, up in the mountains. So here, we gotta get rid of this guy. This guy's in our way. He's level four. Yeah, let's cut him. Seems like trolls... Oh, he's, he's pretty fast. It's hard for me to get away. We'll just melee him down. I think we'll survive. We're tough. Oh, we missed. But our axe skill's going up, which is good. Eventually, we won't miss. The good thing is that we're getting... Getting that quest done. We've slain... So, it's weird how these guys are called whelps. Usually, when I think of whelps, I think of, like, whelplings in Anixia's lair. Like, those small little dragon Dragons? Dragons? But, uh, yeah, these guys don't look like whelps to me. This guy's got an axe as well. Alright, well, let's see what's going on at this camp. Okay, let's take out this guy. These guys are kind of tough at level... Like, if you fought these guys at level 1, I think they'd be quite the challenge. Level 3, they're not too bad. Okay, here we go. Let's deal with this guy. I think he's guarding something over there. One dwarf takes on many trolls. Also, BlizzCon's coming up soon. Well, not soon. It's like two weeks away. Looking forward to their announcements. It's going to be an online BlizzCon this year. Should be pretty good. Hopefully they announce TBC. Looking forward to that. And I'm also looking forward to their uh, to their update on Diablo 4. Hope they do something with that. Supposedly like an Overwatch 2 is coming out. They probably have tons of announcements. So we're going here. Let's see what's inside. Obviously there's nothing as usual. We're looking for a chest or some, uh, some bolts. There's literally nothing around here. Think about classic WoW. It's hard to find stuff. Oh, there it is. Felix's chest. So, yeah, like I said, 
in, in retail wow if we were like trying to find something like felix's chest it would be like sparkling and stuff but in classic wow it doesn't do that you gotta you gotta really look sometimes you won't be able to find find it okay so let's go we're gonna go to the to the cave now maybe we'll be able to get uh Fight some more trolls. I remember some trolls being here. We have five more to go. What's that? A battered chest. We're going for that. First, we got to deal with these, these trolls. I can't wait for when we get a uh, fate death. I'm going to try a lot of stuff with it. I'm going to try to skip a lot of stuff. Like I could just run by this guy, go to the chest, faint death, open it up. Here we go. Let's see what we get, guys. Got some tough jerky, a frayed belt. It's not too bad. There's Felix's bucket of bolts right outside. Nice. So there we go. We got Felix's stuff. Now I got to slay some of these... Uh, Trolls here. We're gonna go inside this cave. We'll check it out. We'll see what we can find. Always like exploring caves. I'm feeling my gun. I need to get some abilities soon too. So I'm gonna save my my gold. I don't have gold yet, but my silver, I should say. <laughs> Nice to get a new gun ability. Also, being able to tame a pet is going to be big. When we get our first pet, that's going to be a big achievement. I might go to the Barrens to actually get a, a cat. I don't know what type of pet I should get. That's something I should think about. I, I just know cats are really good. And the Barrens has a lot of those lions. Okay. I know gorillas are good. Gorillas are pretty cool. This would be our last troll. Just want to see what's inside this cave. It looks like a pretty big, big cave. See what type of XP we can get. Okay, so that was our last troll. Let's see if we can get around these. Nope, oh, nope. That guy's seen us. Never been good at skipping stuff. <laughs> so let's get by. Let's uh, we'll take this guy down. I'm gonna start using this fine treasure ability. Is that treasure? There we go. Awesome. Dude, there's a battered chest right here. I just clicked that fine treasure. That's awesome. Never even knew that was in the game. I didn't know drawers could even do that. So let's eat some uh, jerky while we're hanging out here. So we're gonna get this battered chest. That's good. That's good that you have fine treasure, because then it makes you feel like you're you're not like wasting your time running through the cave. So that's usually, that's like the main reason why I'm in this cave is to find some treasure, and maybe make a little bit of gold. We might even get a piece of loot, you know. You never know what you can get in these battered chests. And the good thing is we're getting our axe skill up too, and we're going to get another axe from this quest to return it in. Not increase our damage. That's another thing I really enjoy about classic is the upgrade. When you get an upgrade, it, even if it's like a, a crappy white item or gray, you're like, wow, this is big. <laughs> the player progression curve is, is is good. They did a really good job with that in this game. And in retail, it's like when you level up, like all your gear really doesn't mean anything. You're just like throwing it on. You don't even remember any of the pieces that you got. 
Like in classic WoW, I can remember so many pieces my warrior picked up that were like really influential while I was leveling. Like uh, whirlwind axe, that was huge. When I got that, that was a really big deal. And there was this axe, I forget the name of the axe, but there was this axe I got before I was level 10. I think it was like a level 7 two-handed axe. And it really, uh, it changed everything. I think my buddy, my buddy Matt gave it to me while I was leveling my warrior. Druid's kind of weird. Because you just pick up, like, stabs or t pole arms. So you don't really have that much of a... Like, many weapons you can pick. A tough, time is get a tough time getting good weapons. On my, uh... My druid. And they're all two-handers, too. There's another two-hander that you could get, too. So stabs, pole arms... I believe maces, yeah. Two-handed maces you could use. I usually would rock maces. That's a big upgrade, too, when you're leveling as a druid. It's like a torn druid when you start out. If you get a nice big two-handed mace, changes everything. I wonder if I can skip this guy. Get this chest. Let's see if I can shoot this guy through here. No, he's LOS. Okay, he's running away. Shoot him. Come on, you can shoot him. Are we running out of bullets? Nice oh, he's LOS. We've got 90 bullets left. That's another thing I need to keep track of is my bullets. Right there, shoot him. Boom. Okay, we got two guys. We're in trouble. I think we can fight two guys. We're gonna kite him back. We gotta just fight it out. There's no kiting here. Might be able to kite the other one, but I don't think it's worth it for me to kite this one. Okay, here's the next guy. This guy's level 4. I think I might be in trouble. I think we'll be okay. I think I got him. The thing, you gotta watch out in class. If you pull two things, you might be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> There we go. We got him. We got him. There we go. So I think a good play might be to, like, kite while uh, my raptor strike is on cooldown. If I can. I don't really have any CC abilities to slow him down. So I guess we'll eat a little bit here. And then we have one more troll to go. And then we can get this battered chest. Actually, no. We might have two trolls. This guy's making his way over. We're going to hide from him. Good. Shoot this guy in the head. Get another shot. Come on, he had another shot. The LOS, I guess. We'll pull him back here. So we don't pull any more. This guy's only level 3, so he shouldn't be too tough. There we go. Let's see what we get in the chest, guys. Better reward us with something nice. Water bracers. 25 armor male bracers we can't wear. It's a lot of... A lot of crap. Male chest we can't wear. It sucks that we don't have male specialization yet. We got a leather chest here. So, yeah, we got a leather chest. And we have belts. We've been getting all these belts, but... I haven't been putting them on. Making mistakes, guys. There we go. So there we go. We got to, we had some loot that we could have put on. It would have been a shame if I died to one of those trolls. And uh I had loot I could have worn. Oh watch, well, we gotta watch out, guys. Everything's starting to spawn back again. It's another thing you gotta watch out for and while you're in caves. Back spawn can can lead to a lot of trouble. As you can see, we'll make it out alive. I remember on my druid, I was in a cave fighting a bunch of gnolls at the, be 
beginning. And, uh... I can't believe I forget the name of the place. In Mulgore. Beautiful place. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, we're in a cave in Mulgore fighting gnolls. And, uh... I was getting destroyed by them, man. We would just pull too many gnolls. And the back spawn was just brutal. We'll fight our way out of this cave. We did it all for that chest. Yeah, I'm happy I picked Dwarf. That fine treasure uh, ability is going to be useful. I wonder if that helps with quest items too. I wonder if I could use this and it would help me uh, find quest items. Alright, so let's roll out. I'm gonna try to skip this last one. Oh, okay. Looks like that's not working. Wish I had like a trap. One thing you, I noticed about retail, though, that, that is... I could see why people... I, I would recommend it for new players. Is because... Uh, it, it This does... The, the combat is kind of a little too simple at the start. In Classic WoW. Like, yeah, I'm only white hitting and... And using one ability. In retail, when you start out, they give you a bunch of abilities. And the, the class feels more... I don't know how to say it. Feels like I don't know. Got the word for it, but it just feels like it's like it's you're actually playing like a, a version of the class, like a decent version. I can say, I guess. So right now, like you don't really feel like a hunter. Like really, you're just a guy with an axe and a gun. <laughs> You know? But eventually you become a hunter. Which is cool. The progression curve is awesome. Let's have something to eat here. We're almost level 5, too. I don't think we'll hit level 6. Unless the quests give us a lot of XP. Let's get out of here. I have to deal with this troll. We want to escape. Let's get this new axe. Probably should have got that new axe before I came in here. Would have helped. Alright, so let's get out of here. Classic kind of has that Skyrim feel to it too, where... You start out and you're like a complete nobody. <laughs> you know? You know? You have like no skills at all, no talents. And then eventually you slowly but surely turn yourself into a formidable warrior. So here's Grelin Whitebeard. Let's have a chat with him. The troll cave, Arg, the, those light blasted trolls. He takes a few breaths and seems to settle down a bit. A group of them came in the night and stole my journal. I knew better than to trust that good-for-nothing Apra. Choose our reward. We're going to take this axe, obviously. And we're going to get some healing herbs. Not too bad. Well, it looks like we have to get a, a journal eventually. Keep your feet on the ground. Before we do that, I think we'll, we'll, I think we'll come back and do that later. Scalding Mornbrew Delivery. Gah, I was supposed to get this delicious scalding morn brew for Dernan Furcutter inside Anvilmar a while ago now. But I had to deliver one to Grelin here first. I'll never make it to Anvilmar before the brew runs cold. You look fast. Maybe you can make it. This cup will only stay hot for five more minutes. And Dernan didn't order chili morn brew. So get going. Anvilmar is to the northeast. A settlement dug into the mountain. Thanks, Trap and Trav. And don't forget to bring me back my mug. Watch your back. Okay, so eventually we're going to have to bring him back his mug. And I think the trick here is to use our hearthstone. 
because we're going to hearth right to Anvilmar. So that is what we're going to do. So here we are, we're at Anvilmar. We're going to sell a lot of our junk. We also got to put this axe on. Increased by, uh, gave us top end of 5 damage from a top end of 3 damage. That's a 2 damage increase. DPS per second, 0. 0.7 How DPS per second increase as well. And we'll get rid of all this junk we got. I know some of it is an upgrade, but a lot of it we won't be able to use for a while. We got, there's all Felix's items, and then we'll keep all that stuff. And we have 3 Great silver, cabinet. 55 copper now. I think we'll have four silver. Just over four silver after we turn these quests in. Still have four minutes on this brew. Probably turn that in first. Or whoever we see first. Got tons of time. So there he is, Felix Windlebolt. Hi, how are you? Oh goodness, Trap and Trav, this town is not well suited for the likes of me. There are as many nasty creatures here as there were in Nomaragan before the accident. Do you have any of my belongings? If you don't, then who knows what the trolls have done with them now. Huzzah! You found them! You're an absolute savior, my friend. Here, it's not much, but it's something for the troubles I put you through. Thank you. Alrighty then! Alrighty then! Like, let's go. <laughs> What can I get for you today? I sell the finest cloth and leather garb this side of the valley. Scalding morning bro morning brew delivery. Aye, I'm Durnan Fur Cutter. You have something for me? Durnan Scalding Morn Brew. Ah, good. Now this will hit the spot. Allow me to take a small break while I enjoy this scalding morn brew. Alright, so there we go. Got a bunch of quests Safe done. We hit travels. level five. I think next episode we'll uh, probably be delivering this mug back and we'll continue continue questing in Cold Ridge Valley. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.